hello guys welcome to my channel for yet another awesome tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can create your own vpn server for free yes guys you heard it right for free and if you don't know what vpn is well let me give you a small explanation about what we actually a vpn is a vpn is a security feature we should use to protect ourselves from getting hacked and protect our sensitive personal data like your identity, your bank detail, your browsing habit from hacker. It adds an extra layer of security to your digital life. Well, that's being said, let's get started with the real tutorial of setting up your own VPN server. So let's get on to it. Prerequisite 1. AWS account, 2nd, client computer, Mac or Windows PC, any you like, some experience with Linux command to SSH to the server. Number 4. WireGuard VPN client and server. 5. Patience, 6. Time, and most important, like and subscribe to my channel. The first step is to launch your browser. Go to AWS login site. Go to the second link AWS management console. Now AWS means Amazon web service and if you don't know about this I will provide a link to it and with this you link you can have one year entirely free of service which you can use it to create your own VPN and some other project and the steps are very simple and you don't have to pay a single penny for the whole year for the whole year you will get some benefit like free uses of easy to engine and here in this project we are going to use that one so first you need to sign into your console sign into your console When the signing process is done, you need to go to the services and click EC2 engine because we are going to create uh, instances in our cloud server. So when you, because as you know, I had don't have any instances running. So I need to go to instances and I have to launch instances. When you click this option, you will see this page. It will take some time to launch now here you need to go to the community AMI scroll down and select Ubuntu for this project I am going to take Ubuntu 18.404 but there are other version also available which is better you can also go for Ubuntu Xenial 16.04 or you can go for this this one for this purpose, uh, for this project, I'm going to select this one, the top one. Select it. Here you can see the general purpose T2 micro is given, and right down you will see free tire eligible. Yes, and this is the one we are going to choose. There are some paid uh, version. You can also go for that if you want to pay for it. But because the purpose of this tutorial is to have your server, VPN server running free of cost, so I'm going to choose this one. Go to the next instances. Here, don't uh, select and change any settings, just go to review and launch. Here, come down and go to the secure edit security policy. Yes we have to uh, do some security changes like uh, we had to open some port for our project so by default ssh is already there the port is open we have to add rule by clicking add rule click here and select custom udp rule you can choose any port between uh, 10 to, between 10,000 to 60,000 so here for this project I'm going to use this board this is just a random board like for 54 321 I just use this one and here 
I'm going to click and choose anywhere for this purpose this is because I'm going to use this port for the WireGuard VPN so I'm going to rename it as WireGuard next click review and launch when everything is done click launch here I have already set some key pair but if you can you can also create if it, if you are trying this for the first time you need to create one new pair because I already have one I'm not going to create any one so I'm going to choose the one I have already unknown you just have to click I acknowledge and launch instances it will take some time and you need to click here to go to the instances page as you can see here it is showing pending you need to wait for a few minutes to get this thing, uh, server up and running so I'm going to speed this up a bit so here you go my server is up and running now here I'm not going to hide anything I all my app IPs are showing right down here and you I'm not going to hide anything because as soon as this project is done I'm going to remove this instances so if you are trying to use this VPN for your own benefit don't worry it won't work because by the time you will see this video the instances will be gone so what after that you need to have to look here down here this is your public DNS and using this link you can access this server using SSH but before that I have to do one more thing scroll down from the left side and go to elastic IP click here and click allocate elastic IP addresses just click one Amazon pool of IPv4 addresses that's fine just click allocate now go to this option action and select associate elastic IP from here you should choose your instances and the IP address this is it by default it will show and click associate well why we are doing this because elastic when you assign an elastic IP your IP for the server will remain same that means you will have a static IP address for your server and by doing so you can access your server from anywhere using the same IP address every time and for the VPN purpose we need a static IP address so after that after this you go to the instances again select the instances I am going to rename this instance for like go to VPN server that is my name of the server so now next I have to click connect so here are some option you need as you have downloaded the uh, key you have to use this command to make your key activated for the public use so you need to first download that key and you need to go to that particular directory using the terminal and you have to use this command to make your key activate or use it for the SSH because I have already done that path but I'm still going to show you how you can do it so here is my command so I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to launch terminal using spotlight search now I'm going to go to I'm just going to type this command here and press enter now as you can see it's showing nothing why because I have in my root directory I have set this thing up 
तो माई फाइल इज ऑलरेडी डाउनलोडेड इन माई दिस फोल्डर एंड वेन आई लॉन्च दिस कमांड दिस एक्टिवेटेड माई प्राइवेट की और द पब्लिक की ना टू कनेक्ट टू दिस सर्वर आई जस्ट नीड टू क्लिक आई नीड टू यूज दिस लिंक कॉपी दिस लिंक मिनिमाइज द ब्राउजर विंडो गो टू टर्मिनल एंड पेस्ट इट and hit enter you need to type yes and enter again now my server i am connected to my server and the first thing first thing what you have to do while after connecting to the server is to update your server for that i am going to type sudo apt get update and enter it will take some time very little much that depends upon the uh, update size that's done now i have to update if to see if there is any uh, curdl or any package needs updating so i going to type sudo apt get upgrade see it's showing so i'm going to press y and i will let this thing do it work let the package get updated upgraded and as you can see the update is done now after updating your server you need to copy this command from the description and put it in your terminal or whatever ssh client you are using so just write i'm going to paste this thing like git clone and this is the url which you are going to use to download and install wireguard vpn server in your ubuntu on the cloud so after pasting this i'm going to hit enter it's going to take some time and then now you need to move to this folder cd Why guard AWS? Hit enter. When you come into this uh, folder, you need to type this command. sudo dot back uh, forward slash initial dot sh. is going to take some time and it will do your work it will take some time when the thing is going on i am going to open my browser again and i have to go to i have to click here and just scroll down and i have to copy the ip address of this just copy the ip address minimize and wait for the things to get done and click on the link to the channel well at this step you need, uh, just now we have copy the uh, ip address of our server you need to paste that ip address over here and give a colon and type in the port which you have def uh, defined while editing the security group so when we edited the security group we have given 54321 port remember that so you need to use this port and the ip address or the elastic ip address of the server and hit enter here no need to do anything just press enter one more time 
here it's asking for a DNS server so by default it is taking 1.1.1 which is a Cloudflare DNS server and which is very good and I recommend using this one so hit enter again nothing just hit enter again now here need to here you need to add some username so to give a username i'm going to type in my username like for uh, this purpose and hit enter and there you go your work is all done you will get this qr code you can scan this qr code to get the script or you can just copy here this thing to your clipboard I'm going to copy this thing in my clipboard. I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to open my WireGuard client which I already installed. You can install this WireGuard application from the link given in the description uh, for your platform. Like if you are using a Windows PC, you can download it for your Windows PC. And I'm because I am using Mac, so I'm going to use it for Mac. So I'm going to open this and open WireGuard. Now here I'm going to create a new tunnel so I'm going to create a new one so I empty tunnel remove all this thing and paste here for the instant you're going to write the name so I'm going to write on VPN okay and save it now this is my own VPN and click activate just by clicking activate you will see the VPN service is ok and up and running to check I'm going to here I'm going to open speed test to show you that how much the speed is showing see it's working very fine and you can see the IP address which we have given is showing here and showing the server I'm going to click so say so right now I'm using the Mumbai server uh, as for to host this VPN but you can choose a different place for that because the ping is low in this server I'm using this one I'm getting fairly good because my net's internet speed is 40 mbps I'm almost reaching that means this VPN is working quite nicely 37.08 uh, not that much drop well the upload is a bit slow but that is also fine with me yes so see the work everything is working fine and for you to satisfy now we generally go to google.com to check if it is the worst net is working or not as you can see the net is working just fine and there you go you have your vpn server up and running you can switch off this vpn server by clicking deactivate and i'm going to open this thing again no i'm not going to open because that will reveal my ip address sorry so that's it you have your own vpn server up and running i hope you will enjoy it and please do like and subscribe to my channel and share this video as much as you can Thank you.